hello and welcome to Up Your Wine Game. Today I'm going to be tasting a little 2022 Paso Robles Cabernet Sauvignon that I got from Trader Joe's. Again, seven bucks. It's called Paso Dragon. Pretty easy to pick out. They usually have this stacked all over the store. I've had this in the past. It was a great deal. This is the 2022, which is the newest release. Um, you know, Paso kills it in terms of doing big, opulent, jammy, to me, overripe but very high alcohol, cab, Syrahs, red blends, the whole bit. Um, so let's see here, for seven bucks, if you like the style of, of Paso Robles wines, the wines are not shy. They usually are, even the whites, they're very high in alcohol. They use a lot of Rhone blends, Grenache, Syrah, Mourved. They do cab, they do Syrah, um, you know, Zin, you name it, but big, heavy, beefy, uh, super extracted, jammy wine. So. Let's see what we got going on here. This is for seven bucks, cab. Um, nose is kind of, you know, uh, it smells just kind of like wine. I'm not sure if I'm picking up that this is necessarily cab. Um, even the color alone is not the darkest in the world, but again, we're talking about seven bucks and it's cab, right? So. But again, the nose, I'm getting a light herb tea, black tea. Um, there's some black cherry here. But nothing rich, nothing nothing heavy going on here. Nose is just kind of moderate, mid, mid as my kids would say. It's kind of mid. Mm-mm. Oh no, no, okay, so no. When you consider that there's wines out there like Vogel Cabernet Sauvignon for 10 bucks and that this is seven bucks, spend the extra three bucks. This for seven bucks, I'm already thinking about the other stuff I could get even just at Trader Joe's for seven bucks from Spain, Italy, France. This is a no-go. Um, this wine in the past I've had, it's been very good. I don't know if they've you know, changed sourcing. I don't know if they've just produced more and they're paying. I don't know what's going on. 13.5 uh, alcohol, which I feel like is entry level stakes in Paso Robles. That's, you know, which would have been considered high in Bordeaux years ago. Now everything's getting warmer and, and, and more alcohol. But there's just nothing, there's nothing really super appealing about this wine at all. Nothing, I, I mean, I would not, I would not encourage you to buy this wine. Uh, there's much better out there, um, even at seven bucks. And I'll try and see what I can find between five and 10 bucks. We already know wines like Bogle, some of the private reserve wines from Trader Joe's for 10 bucks for Cab from California crush this. But if this is your go-to for seven bucks, I think it's $6.99. Um, there's better out there. This is there's just nothing super appealing. It, it tastes like a, honestly, I, I'm going to, honestly, let me, this tastes like two buck chop from Trader Joe's at two ninety nine or whatever it is now. It went up a buck, two forty nine. This is what this tastes like. I would not, if this were two buck chuck, I'd be like, you're getting what you pay for. For $7, this is a big miss. Do not pass go, do not collect 200. There is nothing about this for seven bucks that I can say is worth it. So unless you're just enamored with the label, um, miss the 2022 vintage of Paso Dragon um, at Trader Joe's. This is a miss. This is uh, this is headed towards the um, the sangria bin. So yeah, it will have use. I will not dump this wine out, but this is headed towards sangria. So again, no to the 2022 Paso uh, Paso Dragon Cabernet Sauvignon. Until next time, be well, drink well.